my name is Bradley Butler. I'm the exercise physiologist here at the Landtown location with Healthy You for Life. I just want to say great job for completing Joe's workout. I know it's tough using the equipment you don't normally use, like jugs, plastic bags, heck, even your backpack. But hey, great job, and we're gonna keep that up today with a whole nother at-home workout using equipment we can find around the house, maybe even in the garage, all right? So let's get started. So today, we are gonna be using a little bit of different equipment. If you can, you can use the same stuff that you have from Joe's video, but with some other suggestions, we're gonna be using a chair. Any kind of chair will work, as long as it's stable, it's sturdy. We can use any kind of broom or mop. I've got this here today, so this will work. We want one container with a handle. We want an empty trash can. Please make sure the trash can is empty before you try and use it. Any kind of book that's a little bit thicker, a phone book will work too. And then we need two bags with two different jugs inside. So it can be water jugs, it can be milk jugs, anything like that. And make sure they're wrapped in plastic so when we put them down, they don't break or burst. Perfect, so we're gonna get started right away with our warm-up because we'll make sure our body's ready to exercise, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do, we wanna make sure we find the nearest wall, if we can find a door, anything like that. We wanna make sure to get about 10 to 15 feet away. And all we're gonna start with is some door-to-wall touches, okay? So we're gonna run forward, we're gonna touch the wall, bring it back, all right? So we're gonna go for about 20 seconds, we're just gonna keep our feet moving, touch the wall, back pedal it back. Make sure you keep those arms pumping, that way we can upper, and upper body and lower body pump, all right? So we're going forward, back. Good. Get it one more time. Forward, and we'll bring it back. Good. So don't stop those feet, right? We want to keep our feet moving, keep that blood flowing. So we're going right into jumping jacks, okay? We're going to hit 12. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. Perfect. So since we got our equipment right here, what I want you to do is grab onto that book that I mentioned earlier. We're gonna put it right on the floor. So now we're gonna move into toe taps, okay? So we're gonna keep this up for about 20 seconds. Again, we're gonna keep our heart rate up. So we're gonna start with our right foot up. We're going one, two, three, and we're just keeping the time going. Just keeping the time going. Tap the foot and make sure you don't kick it, okay? So you kinda of gotta get up off the floor. Make sure you get that toe up there, tapping. Tapping those feet, tapping those feet. All right, go for about five more seconds. Three, two, one. Perfect, so we're gonna relax. Make sure you move the book out of the way, okay? So, we've got two more to go. So we're going right into a side shuffle. So we wanna break down, we wanna bend our knees, have our feet wide, we're gonna shuffle right back to that door. Boom, right back to where we started. So we're gonna stop, shuffle it back. Make sure we keep ourselves nice and low. Bend at the knees, get some bend in the hip. Good, touch. Good job, good job. We've got two more, two more. Four, good job. Last one, last one. And five, perfect, so bring it back to the middle. So last one we're gonna do is called arm circles. So we're gonna start out big, we got big arm circles, go 10 seconds. So we got big arm circles, keep those arms moving, nice and slow, it's not about speed, it's about getting those arms loose, okay? Good, two, one, now we're gonna bring them in, make a medium size, so they're not as big. So getting those shoulders moving, getting that upper body warm, okay? Using the whole body, three, two, one, keeping them small, all right? So we make little, little circles. Just nice and easy, nothing crazy. Four, three, two, one, relax. Good, so now the warm-up's done, getting right into the workout. Okay, so now we're moving into our strength portion. So this is the equipment we'll need. We're gonna start off right down here. So the first thing we're gonna do with our laundry container or even your milk jug is we're gonna take it and we're gonna get a firm grip on both sides, okay? We wanna make sure we hold it close to the chest, shoulders back. All we're gonna do is take one big step forward with our, with our right foot. We're gonna bend both knees, try to get that 90 degree angle in both the front knee and the back knee. We're gonna push our body up and step back. And then we're gonna alternate, do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna step out with the left foot, bend at the right knee too, push our body back up and bring it back, okay? So that's gonna be our container lunges. From our container lunges, we're gonna move into bug on its back. So, with bug on its back, we're gonna work our core. We're gonna be on the floor. First thing we wanna do, bring our feet up, and then we wanna grab our trash can. Make sure it's empty. We wanna hold both of them just like this, okay? So again, make sure you got a good grip on the side. You're gonna bring them both back, keep the feet out, straighten the arms, bring it back to the middle. So if you want, you can touch the container back to your knees, and we can repeat. So just like this, back, touch the knees, okay? So that's our butt on its back. From there, we're gonna, we're gonna play around with it a little bit. We're gonna make a makeshift barbell. So, those two containers I talked about earlier, we're gonna grab them, 
put them on the ends of our, of our broom, of our mop, whatever we got, and make our own little at-home barbells. We don't even need to travel for it, all right? So again, it may give you a little bit of some problems, but we'll work through it, all right? Good, so we got our barbell, because what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna go both hands are over, so we got our knuckles to the floor, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend at the knee, push our hips back, lean forward, and we're gonna pull the bar up to our chest. So again, down, pull the bar up to the chest, and relax, okay? So again, we wanna make sure we're bending the knee, hips back, pull the shoulder, squeeze, and right back down, my friend. Good, so that is our bent over row. So right from the bent over row, we're gonna get into our Russian twist. So with the Russian twist, what we wanna do, and I'm gonna move this out of the way real quick, is we wanna take a book, take anything you feel comfortable holding, we wanna sit on the floor, with our feet on the floor as the way to start, and we wanna lean back and twist to both sides, okay? So from the side, again, my feet are on the floor, I'm leaning back, I'm touching the book to both sides. If you wanna make it a little bit tougher, you can pick your feet up, touch on both sides. Then that is our Russian twist. All right, y'all, so we're gonna get right into the workout. So remember, the first thing we're starting off with is those container lunges. So again, I'm gonna show you from the side. We got our feet together, we're gonna reach out, bend the knee, one, up, one on the other side, one. Just like that, so I'm gonna count, two. And just keep it just like that. Make sure you keep your core tight, keep that body up, squeeze those shoulders, okay? Good, four. Ah, that's five, perfect, so I'm gonna change it around so you can look right at me. Step back, going. Good, one. Too good, keep it up, keep it up. Legs gonna be getting a little, little tired, but we're gonna push through, okay? Push through. And five, good, so we're done with that. We're sitting down on the floor. Remember, we're going right into bug on its back, okay? So again, we grab our trash can. Laying down on the floor, we got 12 of these. So, feet are up, trash can's in the air. Going back, one, just like that. So again, out to the side, two. Again, bring it as close to the floor as we can, but don't let that back come off the ground. You gotta keep that core tight. Good. We got five. Again, one more, halfway, halfway. That's six, good, so I'm changing it around. Just so you can see. Good, kicking it out, seven. Eight. Then take your time, go at your own pace, all right? Ten, two more, two more. Good. Last one, last one. And boom, that's 12. Perfect, just sit it down. Get off the floor. Make sure you take your time, okay? So there's no need to rush, go at your own pace, all right? So we're moving right into those makeshift barbell rows. So again, we got 10 of these. We're gonna make sure we bend at the knees, push our hips back. We wanna drive those elbows as far back as you can get them. Squeeze the shoulder blades. So one, two, three, four. Here, one more, I'm gonna flip it around. That's five. Good, so I'm gonna turn it around so you can see me. Six, seven, eight, nine. Squeeze those shoulders. 10, perfect. So make sure you sit it off to the side. Somewhere we can still get to it and it's not too far out of reach. So we're going on to our last exercise, okay? So that's a Russian twist with a book. So we're shaking from the side. Sitting down. Again, when you start with our feet on the floor, we got one, two, make sure you lean back, lean back, three, get that pull in the core, that glitter core, four, five, six, good, we're halfway there, so I'm gonna lean it towards you so you can see. I'm gonna pick my feet up. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Good, so set the book off to the side. Round one done. Good, so we're moving on to round two. All right, back to the jug. So we got it on the both sides. Feet on the floor, reaching it out. One, one, good job. You're pushing through, okay? Do two rounds, we're over halfway there. Good, I'm gonna keep it from the side so you can see. Make sure you keep those knees parallel, okay? Try to get as close as you can. If you can touch the floor, great. We want to try to get as close as we can, okay? Good, so we're on five. Cruising through, cruising through. Halfway. Six. Good job. Seven. 
We knew we could use all this stuff for exercise. Eight. Good. Keep it up, keep it up. Nine. Last one both sides. Last one both sides. And ten. Perfect. So I'm gonna set this down. Coming right back to the bug on his back, okay? So again, I'm gonna do it from the side. We got 12, shoot for 12. We get feet up, take it back, and straighten the legs out. Touch the knees, one, two. We're gonna keep that core tight, three. And again, go to where you feel comfortable, four. We wanna make sure that lower back doesn't come off the floor. And we're taking our time, okay? Halfway there, halfway there, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more, two more. Last one. And 12. Perfect. So we make sure we sit this behind us. Give us plenty of space to keep going, okay? So, moving on to that. Bends over rows. So make sure the bag is still on there. They're, they're safe, okay? So bend at the knee. Lead it forward, we got 10, two, three, pushing through, four, five, six, drop those elbows back, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Perfect, so we gotta sit it down. Make sure we give ourselves plenty of room for a Russian twist, okay? So I'm gonna do half of them with my feet on the floor and then half of them with my feet in the air. So we're starting here, we're going, one, two, three, four, five, six. Bring those feet up. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Good. Take the book back behind you. We're on to our final round, round three. All right. So the last time you guys do those moves, just push through. I know it's tough, but we're working hard. Good. One. And one, so we feel it right in these muscles here. We're working those quads. It's two, good job. Three, keep it on, breathing a little heavy, keep it up. Good, cruising through, cruising through. We got this. Good, we should be on, this is the start at nine. Good. 10 and 10. Perfect. Set it off. We're done with it. Hopefully, those 10 is not a bad count. So, we'll figure it out. We're moving right on to it. Bug on its back, okay? So, we get close as we can. Again, it's about persistence, not perfection. So, take those feet out. One, two. Good. We're cruising through. Three. Four. Five, make sure you freeze, okay? Don't hold your breath. Six, we're halfway there, halfway there. Seven, eight, nine. Keep it up, keep it up. Ten, we got two more, two more. One, and two. Perfect, so sit it on the floor. Two more exercises to go. So again, we're back over to that barbell. A broom bell, as I'm gonna call it. So we're gonna bend in the knee. I'm gonna walk forward just a little bit. Bend in the knee, lean forward. Squeeze the shoulders. One, two, three. Driving those elbows back. Four, five. Push them through these final five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, last one. I got it. Ten. Perfect. So I'm gonna slide this back just a little bit. Set it down for our last round of Russian twist, all right? So. Again, I'm gonna start six with my feet down, six with my feet up. So, looking at you guys. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Good, bring those feet up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good, sit that one off to the side. We are done with our first circuit. Good job. Perfect, 
Good job completing round one. I know the strength exercises are tough, but we're gonna keep going, all right? So we're on to our second circuit. So we still got four exercises, keeping the reps 10 to 12. Starting off with, again, our jugs. So what I want you to do is a modified deadlift. So modified in the sense I want you to go as low as you can because you want to be careful. You want to try to get as close to the floor as you can, come right back up, okay? Keep that back flat, okay? So that's the key. You want to try to push your butt to the wall behind you. Lean forward, touch, bring it back, okay? So you want to make sure we're not rounding. We got a big chest, touch the floor, back up, okay? So from there, we move on to our plank taps. So all the plank tap is, is you're gonna lay on the floor. So we'll start out all the way on the floor, just like a caterpillar, right? So we got our arms underneath of us, body close. We push up. Again, we wanna try and get those elbows on the ground, and we're just gonna reach out one, two, three, four, just like that, okay? So you wanna keep that back flat. We don't wanna see any dipping, and we don't wanna see mountains, okay? We wanna keep it nice and flat. From there, we'll move on, and we'll Bring it into push-ups. So we stay on the floor and move over, but with the push-ups, we got two ways. So we can do the push-ups again from our toes, where we got our toes in the ground, we come down, push up. One, down, two, keeping those elbows tight to the body, or we can drop it down to the knees, pick our feet up. I like to cross my ankles, go down and back up, okay? So go to where you feel comfortable, down and back up, all right? So the last thing we gotta do is toe touches. So the toe touches, we're gonna need a chair. Because a lot of times, I can't touch my toes. So in order to make up for that, what I want you to do is lay on the floor, feet on the chair, hands behind, we're going up, try and touch your toes. Back, up, try and touch your toes. And back, just like that, up, and back down, all right? So those are our four exercises that we'll be doing for our final circuit. All right, everybody, we're moving into circuit two. We're only gonna do this circuit two times, okay? But we're gonna do our best in each exercise, all right? So we're moving on into those modified deadlifts. Remember, okay, one hand over, or you can hold it from the sides, whichever you prefer. We wanna bend in the knees, feet outside the hips. Push, that hip, push your hips back, keep that back flat. One, nice and easy, take your time, take your time. Back flat, two, back flat, back flat. Three, good. Moving down, we got four. One more, I'm gonna change up a few. We got five, perfect, so now from the side, push those hips back, one. Pushing it back, two. Good job, make sure you keep those back, keep your back flat. Pull the shoulders, that's three. Good job, four. Last one, last one, we got five, perfect, so if you're sitting down, again, we're moving on to those plank taps now, okay? So get down on the floor, remember, we gotta start on the floor, push that body up, all right? So we're going one, two, Going to 12, three, four, five, try and keep your back flat, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Perfect, so take your time. Now, we're just gonna go right into our push-up, staying in this position, okay? So again, hands on the floor. If you want your modification, remember, knees down. But if you wanna try and up the intensity, go to the toes. We got 10, so we're going down. One, two, Three, take your time, go at your pace. Four, five, six, make sure you're getting good depth. Seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Great job, so again, not going very far in this circuit, but we're going right into our toe taps, okay? So again, get your nearest chair, make sure it's sturdy. We got our feet up on the chair, hands back, we got 12, one, Two, try and touch those toes. We're so far away, we gotta get close. Four, five, six, halfway there. Seven, eight, push through. Nine, get those shoulders up. 10, squeeze that core. 11, one more. 12, perfect, relax. That's the end of round one. And we're going right into round two, okay? So again, I'm gonna start from the side this time. So, got our feet spread, we're gonna hold the handle. Make sure we push those hips back and lean forward. One, up, push those hips back, back flat. Two, squeeze the shoulders. Three, good job. Four, keep it up, keep it up. Five, if you got glasses, fix your glasses. Six, come on. Seven, I'm gonna look forward for the last three. Eight, come on, come on. Nine, keep it up, keep it up. Ten, 
Good job. So send it off to the side. We say goodbye to that for now, but we're right into those plank taps, okay? So feet down. Remember, just like a caterpillar, elbows in, push my body up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No mountain. Eight, nine. Keep those hips down. Ten, eleven, and twelve. But we're not going far. So catch your breath if you need it, real quick, okay? But we're going right in those push ups. So, Hands down, feet up, going down, we're going for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, four more, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10, perfect. So again, thankfully, we're keeping it small, keeping it in a small space. So again, get that chair close, back flat on the floor, feet up. Hands around the head, we're touching our toes on this one. One, two, we got 12, three, come on, four, five, come on, six, Woo. seven, push it through, eight, four more, nine, ten, go seven, we got two, one, four, 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 12, good. Feet on the floor, sit it up, we're done with circuit two. Great job getting here, y'all. So we're on to our final circuit. So this is gonna be two times. Every exercise is gonna be eight reps, okay? So to start, we're gonna do overhead pulls. So we're gonna start on the floor, again, flat on our back, weight up high. So just like we did with the, the trash can earlier, we wanna take it back, close to the floor as we can get it, and back up. We wanna make sure we finish over our chest. So we're going back and up, nice and easy. Close as we can, take it slow over the chest, all right? So that's exercise number one. Exercise number two, gonna go right into the broom curls. So if you wanna leave the weight on, you can. I'm suggesting we start nice and easy, making sure we get full extension of the arms, pull it all the way up, make sure we get that range of motion. But don't swing it. Make sure you keep yourself stable up and down, okay? So we got eight of those. Then we're moving on to our kickbacks, our tricep kickbacks with the jug. So what we do, we lean forward, start with the jug close to the body, push that arm back. We wanna see a straight line in our arms, squeezing the muscles back here. Up and back, okay? Just like that, same thing from the front. We kick it back and bring it forward, okay? From there, we finish with some around the world. So we wanna make sure that we get two containers that are empty, nice and easy. We start from the bottom, go up, touch, and right back down, okay? So get all the shoulders up and back down, okay? Keep the core tight, up and back down. All righty, y'all, so we're gonna get right into the final circuit, circuit three. So, again, start with our uh, overhead pulls. So we lay down on the floor, arms up. We're going back, remember, it's eight. You got eight for two sets. One, two, take your time. Keep those arms straight, that's the key. Three. Four, good job. Cruising through this one. Five, we're tired, but we're pushing through. Six, seven, good, one more. And eight, good, set it off to the side. Remember, we're getting right up into those broom curls, okay? So we're going from the side. One, two, three, four, five, keep it up. Six, seven, eight, good, set it down. Up in the tempo, up in the tempo, bend at the knee. Kickbacks, one, two, three, four. Remember, get all the way up, five, six, seven, eight. Good, flip it to the other side. One, two, three, four, good, five, six. Don't worry, the water's not gonna bust out. Seven, and eight, sit it down. Grabbing our two containers, remember, big circles. One, down, two, good job. Three, circling the whole wall. Four, around the world in eight reps. Five, six, seven, one more, one more, down, eight. Good, set it off to the side again. Getting right back to it, round right two. Laying on our back. Keep the container in your hair. Oh, let me switch it. There we go, good. One, tell the dog you can have a shoe to our back later. Keep it up. Two, three, four, good. Five, six, 
Two more, two more, seven. And eight, good, double container, set it up. Final time for the bicep curls. One, two, three, four. Good, make sure you're not letting the broom fall. Five, six, getting all the way up, seven. Make sure you don't sway, eight. Send the broom off to the side. Now we got our kickbacks. Last time. One, two, make sure you got a firm grip. Don't let the container fall. Five, six, seven, last one. Eight, good, with the sides. One, last time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, last one. Eight, good, set it off to the side. Last one, last time, let's go around the world. One, we made it through the workout. Two, we killing it. Three, good job. Four, we smiling through the pain. Five, six, come on, come on. Seven, last one. Eight, good, set them down softly. Great job, my name again is Bradley Butler with Healthy You. Thank you so much for tuning in and please look forward to more videos coming soon. Thank you.